two years ago. So, anyways, there's a lot of hours on it. It's a small tractor for what we're doing. Uh, we've outgrown it uh, as far as the amount of hay that we're moving every day and the amount of the weight of the bales that we're running every day. This tractor, it works. I mean, it does the job, uh, but we do have hilly ground. I know there's a bunch of assholes out there that think that we just do flat land. Well, come on out to the farm. I'll show you around some of the hilly ground, and you will probably shit a brick if you see what we do on these hilly ground. Uh, and as far as running small tractors on little things, if you want to do that, go right on ahead. I'll come to your funeral. Just make sure your family knows where to send the invitation to, and that will get to me, and I'll come to your funeral because you're fucking stupid if you fight to use a little tractor on a big job. So, I mean, if you're that goddamn stupid... Go right on ahead. Just make sure you write that little thing down on your piece of paper here that says, Hey, when I kill myself because I'm a fucking moron, uh, one lonely farmer wants to come to my funeral so he can piss on my grave as my family goes out the driveway. And enough of that, anyways, because I'm ranting about stupid people. Okay, good morning and welcome to my rant. Um, I just uh, was watching uh, the Chucky 2009 ranting about tires and trolls and why the tires backwards on his baler or tractor, not baler, you know, cause I'm about ready. You're about ready to see my baler. But anyway, I watch that thing and it just amazes me that people, whether they're unemployed or just asinine, I actually even saw a, a video this morning by Wrangler star and Wrangler star. If you don't know, um, he's a religious guy and he's doing this homesteading thing out in Oregon and he, he does some pretty interesting things and he does some things that I don't like and I never comment on his stuff because uh, it just, I like to watch it, I like to see what he's doing and the things that I don't like that he's doing, I just simply click away from the video and I go on my merry way. But he did a ranting video on people, uh, it was on his last video, uh, about people uh, complaining about guns and you know anti-guns versus pro-guns and uh, people being paranoid and and I had to laugh about it because the video that he posted the first comments that were on that video were you're a paranoid freak um, and I don't find him to be a paranoid freak I find him to be a very intelligent man um, he's a little too religious for me and when he does the religious stuff then I just simply click away I don't make rude stupid comments like a lot of people did on Chucky 2009's video uh, where they do rude stupid comments or even all of mine and I did I actually commented on Chucky 2009's and I got a lot of response on there by people not even not Chucky but other people or Lance his real name um, uh, it, it just a big response that I could post a video stating that I could uh, I was going to give away thousands of dollars and I'd still get negative jackass comments and and it's the truth so for the most part you're not gonna please everyone and uh, the, the first clips of this video were just basically proving that there are people out there no matter what you do they will contradict what you're trying to show like the video i did yesterday which was an experiment it was a simple controlled experiment i didn't want to break the chain it would be very difficult for me to break that chain uh and i didn't want to break the toe strap because again it would have been very difficult to break the toe strap so what i did was i got a a uh, common variant which was the bailing twine and I wanted to break the bailing twine which I succeeded in doing and it showed what I had been trying to say in the other videos that I've done of course the first thing out of their mouths were you did that wrong and you shouldn't have used a clevis and if you if you'd have rigged it right well that wasn't my point my point was that they sell these things to people that don't know what in the hell they're doing and it's quite obvious that there's a lot of people that really don't know what they're doing that commented on my video um, I know that a toe strap is different than a recovery strap. Recovery straps are very 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 expensive like 99% of people have commented. Uh, in the end, it's really personal preference if you ask me. I don't think it matters whether you're going to use a recovery strap, a toe strap, or a chain. If you use the proper chain and it's rigged up properly and people are in a safe distance, nobody's going to get hurt. Um, I've heard everything from throwing old blankets onto cables and things. Well, you know what? I guess I could have demonstrated that and maybe I will make another video demonstrating that. But still, if you put it in the middle, 
that cable or chain or toe strap is still going to whip back to the point where that blanket is before it starts to slow it down. So it's all just a safety thing. Limiting your risk is basically what I should be saying. But uh, I think it's a common frustration with uh, prominent YouTubers like myself, uh, Lance or Chucky2009 or even Cody from Wrangler Star. Uh, I really do enjoy a lot of Wrangler Star stuff. He's actually going to be sponsoring a, a shooting class, which I'm very, very interested in. The problem is I can't go in April and maybe I would just uh, go and sign up for the Thunder Ranch uh, shooting course on my own and, you know, just leave Cody and Wrangler Star, you know, Cody and the Wrangler Star channel out of it because I just love to shoot. A lot of people don't know that, but I do. I love to shoot. Um, I don't love to climb the, on top of clock towers and shoot people, but, you know, I just love to shoot. So anyway, uh, with that being said, um, the, the, the beginning of this video was really pure frustration uh, from people that are, well, one person in particular that felt it was necessary to send me an email that was very long and uh, describing and outlining why I am an idiot farmer because I use big tractors to do little jobs and if you're careful at at you know using the uh, small tractor you can accomplish big things with small tractors and yeah I agree that you know using a small tractor can be done but you're running that thing on borrowed time eventually you are going to get to the point where you're so complacent with using that small tractor on big things that you're gonna screw up you're going to hurt yourself or kill yourself or your family or anybody for that matter. Uh, it, anybody that gets on a little tractor and starts pulling 20 tons behind them and finds themselves in a situation where uh, a car comes around a corner on a roadway and you jam on the brakes and you miss both pedals because they're not locked together and the next thing you're skidding down the road sideways rolling over and then you've got 20 tons of material running over your ground up carcass on the roadway. Uh, that's those are the things I'm talking about if you're in a controlled environment uh, where you know all the variables which is very difficult to know but if you know all the variables and you you know you run that tractor on those very same variables day after day after day you will be okay for a very long time uh, dead men tell no tales uh, there's a neighbor he's dead he can't tell us why he did what he did but he got on a Kubota tractor with two loads of hay uh, headed down a hill something happened nobody knows what happened but something happened because he had done this many many times before and you could see the skid marks in the driveway and then the blood splatter on the driveway where he was ground into hamburger but he had done it that way for many many years many many years Something changed, whether it was the conditions of the driveway, whether it was something got out in front of him, a car, a telephone call. Something changed, which screwed him up. You get in a great big tractor, you hook 20 tons behind it, you pull it home safely, you still are at risk, but it is a limited risk. So that's the reason for the beginning of this video. And YouTube watchers, not doers, not YouTubers, I don't consider people that watch my channel YouTubers unless they have their own channel. Uh, please, you know, you're here, we're doing this service for you. Uh, it's an entertainment factor. I know there's a lot of disabled people that watch my channel and get their daily fix of farming life. You know, I don't do the whole uh, well-rounded farming life part of it. Like, I'm not, I don't have animals anymore. I don't do corn anymore. I don't do soybeans anymore. I don't do rye. I don't do wheat. I'm just strictly now a mulch hay and, and quality hay producer because of the variables that I cannot change. Uh, I just have to adapt and move around. So if you're watching this channel and you're watching some of the other channels that I um, have, you know, mentioned in this video, please, if you don't like the video, don't comment. It's really stupid for you to, to call, you know, Lance an idiot because there's a tire on his back that's backwards. And he's talking hundreds and hundreds of people. And I did. I read some of those comments. You just got to shake your head. I mean, I got comments on the, the video that I did the other day or yesterday uh, on how what I did was a joke. Well, it's not a joke. 
there are there it was the variable was the was the the string uh that string could very easily have been a factory tow hook that is in the trunk of your car that got didn't get installed correctly or you know wasn't installed correctly or it was hooked to something and the next thing and if you read through the comments on yesterday's video someone wrote in there that they had a friend that did exactly what I was talking about with the car. They hooked a tow strap to it. They pulled, it pulled out of the bumper and came through the window and hit them in the head. There are countless accounts of these tow straps doing damage like that. A chain, yes, there is snapback from a chain. Um, you just, it's risky no matter what anybody says. When you hook into something and apply a serious amount of tension to anything, whether it's steel, fiber or whatever it could very well hurt you so limit your risk that's all these videos were about and uh, please be respectful to the youtubers it's disheartening uh, when you continue to read these comments and then you go to the channels that you you like to watch and they're having the same problems with mostly the same people and i've gotten now so i'm just blocking all these jackasses um i don't like negative comments towards teresa or my children so now i'm just blocking them and they get to whine and cry and complain on other channels and i urge the other channels that watch me uh and have their own channels if you see these idiots uh making comments about me or other channels that you watch just block them and uh, be done with it but anyways that's the end of this video thanks for watching and hopefully it doesn't get demonetized it's kind of an experiment on that one because uh i don't i don't know there's no rhyme or reason to the demonetization but we're gonna see i know there's a lot of cursing in the beginning of this video and they may catch it or may not i don't know but i have warned everybody with the title so thanks for watching please comment rate and subscribe for more